Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Lake District. Back out in the lakes with my boy. And uh, today we're going up Skiddy. It's kind of one that I've been wanting to do for quite a while uh, and planned it a few times actually, but then had to abandon due to weather and all kinds of other stuff. But here we are. So, in terms of route, I've parked up at Dodwood and we're going to go and do what I think is the best way up Skidder um, and that's via uh, Oak Pike and Longside Edge up onto Calside and then up onto the top in fact, tell you what, let's go and check out the route now Right, so we leave the car park uh, at the back behind the toilet block heading out onto the forest tracks through some incredible woods out onto the open fell side to Ling Hao and then we make our way up to Ullock Pike and the incredible Longside Edge to Carlside, up a steep section to the summit ridge and then to the summit and then we're going to head down to Little Man back up to the summit ridge again down to Carlside, and then we're going to make our way down to Whitestones and back into Dodwood walking beneath Dodd, through the woods, back to the car park. There's a bit of snow on the top. Um, it is clagged in at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. But Josh, being optimistic, reckons it's going to burn <laughs> off, don't you? <laughs> which it could do. Yes, hoping. Yes. Also added bonus, we've got the Finster. She's with us today, so that's great. And she goes nuts in the snow, so that'll be quite interesting to watch. Right, so fingers crossed, we'll have a good day today, not much wind, um, hopefully no rain. If it does fall, hopefully it'll fall as snow, and um, we'll get some nice views. So we're going to bat on and see a bit further up. Okay, so we're just getting to the point now where we're coming out of the woods and we're going to reach the wall. We've just passed under Raven Crag and um, here we go. <laughs> I say a wall, it's actually a fence. <laughs> Easily mistaken. Yes, they're very similar. <laughs> Oops, a daisy. Right. Through the gate. Mind yourself there, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Cheers. So we're now heading out onto the open fell side a bit and so we've been heading north so far we're going to double back now and start heading uh, south so I'm going to check the map out before we continue on Josh is just kind of walking on blindly doesn't really know where he's going Shut but uh, <laughs> I'm going to check the map and probably yeah update you again when we get to the top of Raven Crag or thereabouts. So about 20 minutes after that gate we went through, uh, a little bit of a slog up, and then you come to Ling Hao, which is where we are now, heading in a southerly direction towards Ullock Pike. Um, yeah, it is a bit of a slog, isn't it, that, that bit there, yeah, but it's a bit more gentle now and the views are really opening up, I mean we can see right into Scotland now, I was just saying to Josh before that uh, last time I did this route was 17 years ago, I can't remember any of it, so it just feels like a completely new route, it's great, so I'm going to push on over this bit here which is called the edge 
um, up to Oak Pike, and then from Oak Pike, which I think is in the cloud, we go along long side edge up to Carl side. Um, and like I say, I think that is going to be in Clag, but we'll see. And it's, yes, it's a bit slippy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now entering the frozen tundra of Ullock Pike. It's got significantly colder in the last few minutes. A lot of ice everywhere. I think we might have to spike up in a minute. And we're just at the bottom of that cloud base as well. That's looking very special out towards Grisdale Pike. My goodness. We might get some really cracking conditions. I'm not gonna say anything because that's just gonna jinx it. Happy? Good. Wind's definitely picked up, hasn't it? No, it's not like it was up on Pike of Blisco the other day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. It's funny actually because I looked up from home yesterday, I could see Skidder and there's a lot of snow. And it was clear, of course. Typically not cloud in sight. But there was a lot of snow on the top. I think a lot is gone. Finn's happy, she loves it. <laughs> Don't you Finn? You love the snow. Aren't these great conditions? Oh, I love it when it's like this. Come on, Finn. You're gonna fall off the mountain. <laughs> Come on, where are you going? Good dog. <laughs> All right. Follow that dog. All right, we just got onto Ullock Pike, rugged up, hats on, uh, coats on. My goodness, it got really cold then, didn't it? Finn's got her coat on, looking really happy. Huh? You're looking happy? Not really. It's looking very promising indeed, because we can see right down the ridge that we've just come along now, uh, and we couldn't see up before, so I think the cloud is slowly lifting. We're getting little glimpses towards Skidder now, so there's some of Skidders over there, and it then disappears again and little glimpses down into the valley towards uh, Bassenthwaite. But this here is long side edge. Can't see anything. <laughs> but on a clear day, and it still might clear out yet, you get some of the most wonderful views in the Lake District here going across this. I mean, it's an edge, it's a ridge, but it's not like striding edge or anything like that. It's, it's quite broad. Here we go, look, so you can see a little bit of blue sky above Skidder. I think we're, we might have a cloud-free summit. We might be lucky, yeah. And you can see a little bit more of the edge as well, yeah. Oh my God, look at it out there now, Josh. <laughs> Woo. Confidence levels are, are high. Spirits are even higher. Yes. <laughs> Things looking good. So let's get across the edge and uh, yeah. See what you think. Right, 
That's long side edge done. There's a bit of sky above us there, Josh. Yeah. Keep getting glimpses of the summit. Um, teasing us and tantalizing. Uh, I think once we're up there, I think what we'll do is probably get little fleeting glimpses of uh, you know the view down down below. But yeah, looking amazing back that way. This is long side edge. Nice little ridge. And you know, like I said, on a clear day <laughs> where you can see stuff that way. I mean you can see the whole of the Lake District there, well, you know, North Lakes, out towards Grise Hill Pike and and Causey Pike and all that lot. There we go, you just make out the summit now. So we're approaching Carl side now, but it sort of levels out a little bit. There's the summit. That's the first proper view we've had of it. And it's kind of fading again now. <laughs> Do you say you can see someone up there, Josh? Yeah. My old eyes can't see. <laughs> there goes the butty bandit look. Look at her. It's not lunchtime for you yet. <laughs> I know, isn't that gorgeous? So obviously that's the summit there. That is a skiddy little man. That one there. So what we could do is um, go up to the top down. and then drop down yeah. to little man and then bomb it down back up the cal side. Yeah. So you can actually see, I mean you won't be able to see it on this camera probably, but you can see the path going up to the summit there. Across that western flank. And you can see the summit, see the whole bunch of people, a lot of people up there actually. Hey, it's a winter wonderland. I love it when it's like this. I love it. Oh my God. If you just walk to the edge here, you're actually looking down now towards Helvellyn and Thirlmere. Right. So you can see that entire well, Helvellyn massive all going all the way down there. And just make out Great Howe a little bit, which is at the northern end of Thirlmere. So that ahead of us is Carl's side. There you go. Kind of skirt around the edge of it, I think. And then up to Skidder. I don't think we'll go up to the top of there. Or should we? I don't know. I'll put it to the vault and see what see what Josh says. See what Finn says. Look at Finn. You happy? Or are you miserable? Right, we just, we decided to go on to Carl's side in the end, because, you know, why not worry? Uh, but look at it, look at it out towards Grisdale Pike. So it just keeps turning up that. So let's get across here, up to the summit, and look down, there we go. Have a look, Derwent. So you've got everything down there, you can see Keswick, obviously you can see beyond Derwent, King's Howe, and you've got all of the Helvellyn Massif down there, looking very wet down towards Keswick actually, it does flood down there quite a lot. Whew. Okay, had my eye so completely out of whack there. Oh dear. Huh? Cloud. Oh, 
formation over there. Right, so I think what we're going to do now is we're going to head up to Skidder and uh, just keep getting these shots, hopefully, because it's looking pretty impressive. So hopefully Skidder and then, well, not hopefully, definitely Skidder. Then maybe Little Man, which is over my left shoulder now. But in the meantime, I'm going to get a few more shots here and then we'll get going. See you in a minute. Okay, this is Carl Side Tan, completely frozen, complete with a little snowman in the middle. Conditions are incredible today. So that's where we're going, up top. <laughs> Got a big brother here today looking after her. And it looks like my microphone packed in again. I'm having all kinds of problems with the uh, the audio, but to be honest with you, I've probably saved you a whole load of waffles, so you can just enjoy the views. This last push up uh, towards the summit, it was very difficult actually, very steep, um, and obviously very snowy and icy. And it was, Quite taxing. Snow is getting deeper, clouds getting thicker as well, unfortunately. Yeah, it was definitely challenging. And this is where the micro spikes really come in handy as well, because this was quite um, crunchy, hard ice. It's a little dog suit. Equifleece dog suit. Absolutely fantastic bit of gear. Keeps her nice and warm on days like this. So here we are, just approaching the summit ridge now. Finn found a pitchfork or something. And you can see the people there heading up from Little Man onto the summit. And ordinarily, the view off here is, is incredible up towards the east, see Blencathra and, and beyond. Josh's having a few problems here, just coming up that last bit of the, uh, the climb there, hit his calves quite badly, as he was struggling a little bit there. It is a challenge, no doubt. He just wanted to get to the summit. And it looks like, you know, the clouds are lifting a little bit. There's a little bit of blue sky there as well. He's laughing at him. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Even though we couldn't see the views, it's still beautiful up there. Now, watch this. Look at Finn. Just watch where Finn's going. She's got something in her sights. Yep, someone's having the lunch. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's like I don't feed it. But yeah, this is approaching the summit now. It's one of the shelters. And you can see here, here's the trig point. A few more people getting selfies. I completely forgot about social distancing here. Ooh, look how close that was. Crazy. Sadly, no views. At least you found some food on the way up as well. It looked nasty. So it looked like it was going to clear briefly. 
but it didn't. We got a few little glimpses uh, down into Borrowdale, but nothing, uh, nothing great, really. Right, we've elected to leave the summit now because it is flipping cold. <laughs> no time to dawdle. Quick battery change. Quick check of the sound, which is causing me all kinds of nightmares again. <laughs> anyway, we're going to head off now get some heat um, worked up. Um, we still need to decide yet, Josh, whether we're to go down to Little Man or... Pardon? No. We're not going down to Little Man now, apparently. <laughs> uh, so I think we're probably going to head down the way we came then and uh, hopefully not slide off the side of the mountain because it was pretty steep. And then off to Cal's side and then head down and get some scrannage. Like, look at that though. summit it's now in cloud very steep that last bit but look out towards Scotland gorgeous you can see the top end of Bassenthwaite there you can see the whole of the Solway Firth Okay, so we've kind of come back down off the summit, back up onto Carl's side, and then from there we're going to head down in a, what is it, southwesterly direction, on the footpath, heading down towards White Stones, where we're going to turn and head north, back towards Dodd and the, the woods. So, uh, yeah, quite a, quite a rapid descent now, I think, really. We'll drop out of these clouds. It's funny, it keeps clearing, doesn't it, Josh? It's yeah. uh, keep getting these fleeting moments. I mean, really dramatic views, incredible views, mind blowing, actually. Um, but as soon as we got to Calside, it clogged in again, so we, <laughs> we can't see it. But I think what'll happen is we'll drop down below the cloud base in a sec, and I reckon we'll get some absolutely incredible views looking across to North Lakes. Look at that little bum sticking out. Right, here we are at the aptly named white stones because they are funnily enough white <laughs> little white dog on them as well look <laughs> so i think we're gonna just hunker down here for a few minutes aren't we josh and uh, get some fodder get some food um looking really nice out towards keswick though my goodness and out towards grisdale pike you can see it over there really nice um so yeah we're gonna have something to eat and then, like I said before, head north then down to Dodd uh, and back into the woods and those forest tracks. Nice easy bimble back into the car park. So yeah, let's get some food, Josh. Come on, Josh. Good boy. Come on, boy. So yeah, so the path actually branches off. Part of it goes down that way, off towards Keswick and this one branches off towards, uh, uh, well, back in the northerly direction. And it's gonna take us down, back down to Dodd and the woods down there. Beautiful sunset. Well, we're in golden hour now, aren't we? 
and it feels nice. Some really nice light around. Well, I've put my camera away now, typically. Helvellyn's looking unbelievable. Okey-dokey, we're back on the forest track, as mentioned, and uh, it is just pretty much a steady away walk down to the car park now already, so there's not that much to talk about, is there? Really nice. We've done it all. Look at that light though, my goodness. That is fantastic. So uh, yeah, might as well wrap it up, would you say? Yeah. Yeah, might as well. Um, so I hope you've liked it. I hope you've liked Skidder via Ulluk Pike. And um, we didn't do Little Man like we thought we might have done um but uh, yeah it was just kind of getting on a bit and we were, we were both quite hungry weren't we and yeah. finn was knackered we just making up loads of excuses really aren't we but never mind yeah, um so what i'll do is i'll put the route in the description as usual and if you've liked it give us a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and all the usual business and if you want to support me visit blackcrag.uk go and get yourself a fine art print and uh yeah that's pretty much it for now and uh, I'll probably see you out Josh probably won't be with me next time um, so probably celebrating about uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah I'll see you on the next one anyway cheers see ya oh look at that now <laughs> that's looking really nice now, now. <laughs>